What's going on everyone? So today we are taking a look here at Shine Armor's Fortify Quick Coat. Now you may have seen this product or a related product all over Instagram or the internet where somebody takes a water bottle or sprays the surface of their car and the water basically just beads off and falls right off and nothing sticks to it. So today we're going to take a look at this product to see if it lives up to everything that it says it does. So this is a three in one, a waterless wash, a quick detailer and a sprayable ceramic coating. Now if you are unfamiliar with what a ceramic coating is, it is pretty much a clear protective layer with wonderful hydrophobic properties where the water just beads off any dirt, little dust, debris, or anything on that surface can easily be wiped off. I have my Z06 that is ceramic coated. I can't tell you what a wonder it is to wash that car and how easy it is. I don't really have to dry the car much at all. I just take a wet microfiber towel, a dry microfiber towel. I go one with the wet, one with the dry, and pretty much the surface is clean as could be and it's just so easy. Also, my FRS right now, I'm in the middle of doing a full wrap on that, so we're not going to practice or check out this product here. But I thought today, um, what not a better way for an accurate representation here to do it on a new car. This is a 2019 Hyundai Santa Fe. I didn't do anything. I didn't prep this surface, didn't wash the car earlier, didn't clay bar, didn't do anything here. So again, this is a waterless wash, a quick detailer, and a sprayable ceramic coating. So I just ran a piece of yellow painter's tape here to separate both sides. The farther side here is going to be the untouched side and the side closest to us here is going to be the Fortify Quick Coat. And to quickly show you that the surface is pretty dirty, hope you can pick up on camera, you can see these little spots right here. And then if I run my hand, you can see that there's definitely quite some dirt here on the surface. Coming down to here, we got some bugs, some other stuff. So being that this is a waterless wash, Shine Armor recommends that you can just use this without really washing your car unless your car is muddy or full of dirt. But in this case here, we're able to just spray that down and we're gonna get to that right now. So coming to the back of this bottle here, the directions are pretty simple and straightforward. First, we're gonna spray onto a clean, damp microfiber towel on the surface, cleaning approximately a three by three area. Then we're gonna gently wipe the surface first with the pre-wetted folded microfiber cloth. We're gonna let it quickly flash and switch to a clean folded dry microfiber towel and buff off the remaining haze before it dries. This is definitely the most important step here. And then we're gonna re repeat this process until the entire vehicle is clean, streak free, and ultra glossy. And this is safe to use on glass, paint, metal, and plastic. But for the purpose of this video, we're just going to put it on this side and then do a couple, uh, a couple tests to see the results here speak for themselves. So there is a little tab here that allows the sprayer to be locked or unlocked. If it is directly in the center like it is here, your sprayer will be locked in an off position. And then if you do put it to one side or you can put it to the other, whatever your preference is, that will be able to use the sprayer. And let's get started. So we're gonna first spray it on this microfiber cloth to first get it a little wet. And then we're gonna spray a little bit onto the actual surface that we're cleaning. And then we're gonna get to working that in just like this. All those marks pretty much just came out, which is nice. And it does have a nice uh, smell to it. I wouldn't really recommend smelling it because there are the sprayable uh, ceramics here in this but uh, it definitely does have a nice, nice scent to it. So that we're gonna take that cloth off. We're gonna use another dry cloth. And as that also hazed and rainbowed out, we're just going to buff any remaining bit of this solution so it doesn't dry up, not be smooth or be uneven. So again, you don't, you don't really work with this stuff in a huge, uh, surface area, something like what we just did is plenty sufficient just so you could pay necessary attention to the spot or the location that you're working in. And that should be good and wow, I can already feel the distance and smoothness that this is produced. Get to this section. Uh, 
and it is actually, I'm actually really surprised. It is taking the bugs and the, and the dirt right off. I'll show you guys in a second a better camera angle. And then we'll get the dry one. Buff that clear. Okay. And it's pretty much as simple as that. There's no rocket science here to apply and put that down. The only thing to pay attention to is pretty much when you get that first wet application and let it flash quickly, dry that, buff it off right away. So I'm gonna show you guys here quickly the, dis the difference here. Coming over, you could see all of these bugs and everything here. And then coming across over the tape, that really just cleaned it up with no, not much elbow grease really at all. Let's say the last third of this hood. And it really pulls off the dirt and everything else that's on the surface really well. I'm actually surprised because like bugs and other stuff, <clears throat> I would have thought you would have needed, really needed to clean those off. Now we got the nice dry one. I really thought you would have needed to clean them off a lot better before even doing this, but you can see that this really gets the job done. If your car, if you were off-roading or your car has not been washed for a really long time or it's really dirty rather than just some dust and everything else, then I would definitely recommend cleaning it, but if it's pretty, pretty clean, uh, but a tiny bit dirty like this, or if that makes sense at all, you really don't need to clean it because this is a waterless wash. Okay. <clears throat> That's pretty good. And I could feel the smoothness. Ew. Yeah, there's dust on here still, but you can still tell, like, that it's not a smooth surface where I'm applying as much pressure as I can to try to make my finger squeak, and it's not happening. So now you can repeat the process uh, as many times as you want. I would definitely recommend probably putting on maybe two, three, or four coats onto the surface for maximum results. So now on this Fortify Quick Coat side, we have three coats here, and then this is the untouched side. Um, so right off the bat, even though I felt it from the first, first coat here, it just feels so silky smooth that you could pretty much just run your hands or dust or anything on here, and it's just gonna fall off. And whereas this side, it's, you can even hear that. I'm not just pressing as hard as I can to get that noise. I'm, I could press here and really not get that noise. And it's just really, a really not slick surface at all by any means. You can see the water here just sitting on top of this side. Uh, but now that we do have three coats of, of the Fortify Quick Coat on here, we're gonna do uh, some two, two fun tests here that you've probably seen plenty of times on these, these types of product reviews. Now uh, first, we're gonna use the actual Shine Armor bottle and we're gonna put it on this Fortify Quick Coat side and I'm not gonna propel this, which some of you may think that I'm propelling and just trying to go, oh, it's gonna slide down. I'm literally going to just drop this as, as with really no momentum at all and show you that this is just gonna slide off. Look at that. Again, I'm not, I'm not sliding this already, so it just goes down like that. So with no momentum, this is just gonna pretty much just slide right off the vehicle. Again, I could put this pretty much anywhere. Obviously here, it's gonna slide even quicker, but th this surface here is not really at an incline at all, and that's still coming down right off the car, no problem. 
So if we come over here to the non-coated side, we'll put this, put this right on here. And yeah, I wasn't expecting that to slide off. And again, put it here. It's not gonna slide off, all right, I, I pushed it down that time, my bad. We're gonna put it there. And look at that, it's not sliding at all. And even if I put it on this, this incline, it just wants to fall over and not slide. Look at that. And I can even try to give it some momentum. Like, that's, that's not gonna slide no matter where you put it. It's just gonna pretty much fall over and that's it. Boom, and there you go. So pouring some water here on this Fortify Quick Coat side. Look at that, wow. That literally just beads right off with no issues. Let me do that again, just to make sure you guys could see that on camera. Beads right off, right off. So if we come over here to the non-coated side, yeah, obviously some water is gonna bead, not bead off, but run off because of the angle, but you're getting all of this water that's still left up on this surface, that's gonna leave water marks. If we come over here a little more, so you can actually see it a little better. I know it is sunny. But if we just poured water up here, it's pretty much sliding down because of the angle. You can see all the way up here that this water is still just sitting there, just sitting there. Whereas the fortified quick coat side is not gonna just sit there. It's gonna come all the way off. So again, let's come over to this side. That's just, off just like the videos that you see that you may think is not real or the product's not claiming to do what it does this is this is the proof right here that this this ceramic sprayable ceramic coating is wonderful the waterless wash is wonderful it gives you even though you can't tell probably through the camera that much because the car is relatively new and clean to begin with but just coming down all of these bug marks everything were up here on the hood that you can see here on this side, all of this was on the car. Now you come here and the car is just sparkling, shining, no dirt, no debris, no nothing. So I would definitely say this Fortify Quick Coat has lived up to my expectations here. Again, this is a three-in-one waterless wash, quick detailer, and sprayable ceramic coating, and does great in all three of these aspects. And what more can you ask? You get it all in one bottle here. This is very well priced, um, it, for especially what you get here and looking at any competitors. Um, so if you guys are looking to purchase this, I will leave a quick link down in the description of this video here. And you can also check out Shine Armor's Instagram and shinearmor.com for this as well as more products and other car care needs so definitely check them out and let me know what you guys think of this product so thank you again for watching this video if you are stopping by for the first time please hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video please slap that like button i hope you all have a fantastic day and i'll see you next time take care <laughs>